Cinema was always about now. It's always about what's happening right now. And I think that the technological developments of allowing all images to be available at all times to anyone, anywhere, has eliminated that sense of cinema being about what we are as a culture now. And, uh, and that, I think, is a loss. In first cinema, there's been such a burst of technology that it has become about shock value or entertainment value. And we've tended to lose the other aspect of film that's so powerful, and that's the engagement with ideas. The, opt the optimistic side, if I were a young filmmaker well, with this new technology, is I'd be running with it. With over a dozen murders within the past few days. Um, my name is Ben Hughes, and um, I'm an independent film director. I have my own little independent film company called Venue Studios. And um, I do a lot of music video directing, I make short films, and I'm actually working on a feature film right now. Um, no, I haven't had any real formal film education. I've actually I learned everything I did just from reading and watching stuff online. A, I don't think artists need to be educated except by themselves. And I think that you, ought to, you want to make sure that any formal education that any decent artist gets just doesn't fuck him up. And I'm afraid that that's what our educational system does, it just screws up your artists. The people who aren't artists, it doesn't matter, it's just play. I've thought about it, but I actually don't really think it's 100% necessary, especially considering the amount of information that's online today and how experience seems to be the best form of education. But I know plenty of filmmakers who've never met, went to college, never got formal training, but are some of the best filmmakers I've ever met and also some of the most critical thinkers and theorists that I've ever met. Uh, I think all these changes are actually a really positive thing. A lot of people think that it's somehow making it too easy for people and also like degrading the art form. But I think it's really just part of the evolution of film. Things are moving more digital, and it's becoming cheaper and easier to, to get the professional film look. Art tends to shine and rise to the top. Whatever, whatever your culture values as artistic or as representing the aesthetic qualities and um, worldview of that community is going to rise to the top. Um, so you can saturate the market with the ability to make films, but if 10 million people are making home videos, um, they're still gonna go to a really good movie. So I think it's a good change though. Um, it's a lot more democratic, and so a lot more people can make music and a lot more people can make films now. Um, there's just not the big money associated with it before. Whereas before, um, all the money in, in music and in film um, came from the purchasing of the CDs or DVDs or going to actual movies. And that was the only way to get it, so nobody really got away with watching this stuff for free. Um, but at the same time when that happened, the movies and the uh, music that we listened to and the movies that we saw were really determined just by big studios. So just a small number of people got to determine the movies that we saw. So this is more about capitalism than it is about creativity. And so maybe um, the idea that bigger isn't better that smaller gives you more options is coming back. Not a bad place to be, maybe. Um, where's it going? That's, you know, definitely a lot of the big budget films, um, you know, I've seen less and less of them, and more of them are just done on CG or green screen. You know, a lot of the films that come from Korea and China and Japan now, the whole movie is just shot on green screen, and all the costumes and all the sets and everything are just drawn in later by an animator. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a new way of doing films. You can have some really spectacular eye candy doing it that way. Um, but people don't rely on the big, huge sets and productions and having to make little models and, and things like that anymore. So. The, fa the fact that fi the film is being supplanted by uh, digital technology is just a fact, and it's time to just get over it if you're someone like me. Um, I, I have asked a lot of people, can they tell whether or not they're seeing a digitally projected image or film image and they've said I can't tell any difference and they don't think there's what's... In this industry you're always changing um, and always being flexible and always learning new things. There's always new equipment coming down the line and there's always new software coming down the line. Um, and it's always just a willingness to learn 
and um, not having a fear of hitting the undo button. Use this technology, it's been a gift given to you. It's like I was suggesting with the French New Wave, the new, the new technologies that happened with lightweight cameras, lightweight sound recording equipment meant they could go on the street and at least have the idea of writing with the camera camera expressing thought. Well now you've got these cameras that can allow you to shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. It cuts your production costs way down. Well the next thing you should do is follow that logic all the way. I hope to be able to do a lot of videos for major artists and also film and also get into like studio films and start getting films with actual budgets and something like less independent, more of a full like like more of a studio film eventually. Sometimes the more technology we have, the more we rely on the technology and forget about the message or the um, combination of aesthetics with, with the message. And we go for just either the visual effects or um, or the message, and we don't we don't look at how those things tie together. The cinema is cinema. The 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 stories that we see projected on screens uh, is is cinema moving images that we we take by some kind of uh, technology. We 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 imbibe by some kind of technology. If it's that, then cinema is not dead. In fact, we have more screens than ever, and the cultural practice of seeing narrative stories on screens continues unabated. In fact, it's, it's proliferated. But if cinema is a cultural practice that depends upon uh, people coming together in specific spaces and watching a certain kind of um, projected image, then I think cinema is not ending, but it's certainly changing. I don't think cinema is that at all. I think maybe film, the actual recording method, might s slowly be dying out. But cinema, not at all. I mean, movies are starting to make more money these days. And also, I think it's always going to be something that people do, go to the theaters and see movies. I mean, Netflix and portable devices, watch, watching videos on portable devices, it'll never replace actually going to the movie and the actual theater experience. I don't think so. I think it'll definitely continue in some degree. It just probably won't be as big as it you know, has been in the past. Um, you know, more people just consume stuff on their mobile devices at home or watch it at home on their, uh, in their basement, in their home theater, things like that. Um, but I think it'll just, you know, there'll always be movie theaters and I think people still want to get together and watch film festivals and see, see exotic films in, in a theater setting. I think it just won't be as, uh, as prevalent. It's not the only way to, to consume film and movies anymore. Um, and I think the ability to create media that affects the entire world when they see it and affects them to action, not just affects them as an object that you watch, but something that actually motivates a group of people to action. And I think that's probably one of the most powerful things that we've seen in a while. When it is released, in this town and then of course you'll have access to the film on DVD or on, on, on streaming video whenever you want to see it. That means it's not a loss for the filmmaker to the extent that you're seeing the film and it's not a loss for you to the extent that you're seeing the film but it is a loss to a cinema culture which creates occasions for us to get together, see these films in discrete periods of time and get a sense that that film's having a cultural impact now. Cinema was always about now. It's always about what's happening right now. And I think that the technological developments of allowing all images to be available at all times to anyone, anywhere, has eliminated that sense of cinema being about what we are as a culture now. And, uh, and that, I think, is a loss. It's not one that I'm going to weep about, you know, but it's, it's a loss.